Hello, welcome to Amma Cooking. Uh, today I'll show you how to make Vetta Kolmbu. Okay. Vetta Kolmbu is a type of sambar where you don't use coconut <clears throat> and dal. No cooked tuar dal is added to this. Okay, it's just tamarind water. So, the ingredients. See, this is the size of the uh, tamarind. I have taken a little bigger than it. That is a big limbo size. Okay, we need to soak this in half liter of water. Microwave it for a minute and take out the tamarind water. So, I have kept the tamarind water ready. Uh, this is two capsicums. Washed and finely chopped. We need uh, salt, turmeric powder, red chilli powder, sambar powder, hing. And for seasoning, two big spoons of tuar dal, one spoon of chana dal, rai, curry leaves and one red chilli. Uh, we have to de-seed the capsicum and then cut it up. I have removed the seeds and then we cut it into very small pieces. Like this, we need to cut the capsicum. So first, cut it into half. And then, remove the seed from the center. So you remove it and then cut it. Okay, now our ingredients are ready. So first, take a small kadai. Light the gas. Add Till oil. For this we are using till oil, huh? sesame oil. The oil is mildly hot. Let's just wait for 30 seconds. It will be slightly hot. Then add the tuar dal and the chana dal. Here I have taken two big spoons of tuar dal. If you don't like too much of uh, seasoning dal, then you can make it to one spoon. At home, everybody likes this dal. So, I put two spoons. Today I am using capsicum for this vetta kolmbu. You can make this using uh, lady's finger, the big onions, small onions. All these would taste good with this kolmbu. Now to this I am adding rai. Once the mustard starts fluttering, uh, lower the flame to sim. <coughs> Add curry leaves and cut the chili. Yeah? Just break the chili into two. To this, add the capsicum. Try everything together. Now let's sort it. For ladies finger we definitely have to do this because it will otherwise become very soggy. If you are using big onions it has, it has to become translucent. Small onions also same. Now it's all mixed well. What I am going to do is I have already poured the tamarind water in the vessel. I will add this to that. Again, increase the flame to high. Now we add all our ingredients like
turmeric powder this is half liter right i'll be adding little bit more of water because we allow it to boil for 15 20 minutes it thickens and it shortens so so here i'm adding one and half spoons of salt i hope you get the size of the spoon clearly in this it's a small one small teaspoon so here in a heap i'm taking the sambar powder okay so one two and three with the, the same size spoon add one uh, <clears throat> spoon of chili powder and asafoetida powder hing Mix this well. Because the sambar powder will otherwise become a lump, so just nicely stir it, mix it well. While mixing, if it's too hot, again lower the flame. Nicely mix it and then again <coughs> increase the flame. Now to this I will be adding a little bit more water. I am again adding 200 milliliter of water to this. Okay, increase the flame. See it's nicely mixed. There are no lumps. It's nicely mixed. Okay, it's boiling now. Just stir it once more. As it boils and comes up, we lower the flame to sim. See now I it's coming up. Allow the flame to sim and allow it to simmer. Slight bubbles should come up. So it depends on the flame. So just check. It has to simmer slightly. And do check after 2-3 minutes because at times uh, the heat will reduce after 2-3 minutes and it will not be boiling. So do check. It has to simmer like this for the next 20 minutes. Now I've let it boil for roughly uh, somewhere between 30 to 35 minutes and see the consistency it has thickened right. It's not as thick as the sambar. Okay somewhat like a soup consistency it is. Slightly thin, thinner than the soup consistency this is the consistency. Okay now it is ready. Switch off the gas and the vetter koimbu is ready to be served. This is a quick and easy recipe. Okay, happy cooking. Bye for now.